if I'm not mistaken, this ticket was expired on December of last year. Why is this car on the road without inspection and emission? I wonder if the license plate is also expired. This is code enforcement, guys. This is code enforcement here in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. This one good. Yep, that's one as uh, December 2024. But I have questions about that one over there. Since so it has its expiration date on de 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 December of last year, emission and inspection. She didn't seem to care much, me recording her, which is nice. She recognized me, I guess, from my YouTube channel, Not the End of Freedom. All right, everybody. Um, I waited, waited, and waited here for Mr. Joe. Mr. Joe drives this car, and Mr. Joe is in violation. So I came here to conduct uh, an interview with him to ask him a couple questions. Uh, to how come city employees drive cars with a expired emission and uh, inspection sticker they work for the city and they're supposed to uh, follow the same rules and regulations as everybody else every car in Hazleton if you get pulled over by the police and you are in violation of this uh, traffic uh, co uh, code, you're gonna get a ticket. You are going to get a ticket by these guys. And how come the same rule doesn't apply for city employees? Uh, those are the one who comes to our house and tell us what to do, how to maintain our property. Uh, how to follow the uh, buildings, inspections, and all this stuff, all these things that code enforcement uh, have to uh, to get your money. If you are found to be in violation of the code enforcement. You get a ticket. So I waited here for uh, 51 minutes, close to an hour, guys, and nobody came down. 
everybody look everybody look at me from the from the windows they open the curtains and they look at me uh waiting and waiting and waiting and nobody care nobody cared to come and talk to me about why this vehicle this city vehicle is driving on the city roads with a expired inspection since 2023 12 or 23 it says on the windshield and his name is joe and i want you guys to call code enforcement hazel to code enforcement and ask for joe and i want to know if he's special how special he is that he can drive a vehicle I wonder if this uh, registration uh, has expired also. We like to find that out. And that's what, that was the questions that I have for him. But he failed to, to come down and to talk, to talk to me about. And I'm gonna leave it right here, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off because there's no point for me waiting for somebody that doesn't want to talk. And for somebody that's afraid to talk to me and nobody from this building uh, wanted to come down and talk to me about this car so I'm gonna end this video right here but I want you guys to know that we are in Hazleton vigilant because we we need answers from this uh, city. We need to talk to code enforcement and we, we need to talk to the mayor. We need to talk to all these uh, people that are in charge of the city. And first of all, we need to ask questions. Why are we not allowed to record in this public building? Paid by the tax dollar. City Hall is, is, is funded by the tax dollar, guys. And the public is not allowed to I guess freedom of, freedom of, of First Amendment stops right at that door. Inside, there is no First Amendment because they don't allow you to record inside there. All right, guys? I hope you like these videos, guys, and I hope you guys uh, interact with me on the comment section and let me know what do you think about Hazelton city and why they think that it's okay for them to commit violations traffic violations to infringe our right to record inside uh, and honestly these need to change guys these these need to change pretty soon but I need your help I need you guys to call them and ask questions legit questions questions that everybody should come here and record we all from hazelton and everybody that, that drives by here we should stop in this building and record because you guys leaving me alone here and i'm not getting much help on exposing these people on what they doing wrong please come down to hazelton pennsylvania and do the same that i do ask questions about these, these vehicles being driven under public roads in violation. Because if you do it, if I do it, I'll get a ticket. I'll probably be arrested, you know, because all they need, all they need to see is a simple violation for them to come and stop you, pull you over, get you out of the car, get your ID, God forbid you have a warrant or unpaid tickets. They're gonna arrest you guys. So why all these rules don't apply to them? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys help me with this and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All right, I recorded this car the other day driving with expired emission and inspection sticker. 
and I waited for him outside uh, City Hall. I think it was on Friday. And I waited there for 45 minutes and he didn't want to come down. Uh, and waiting there for 45 minutes, he didn't, he didn't want to come down. But I drove around and he did move his car. Hey, sir, how are you? Good, how are you? What's your name? Joe. Joe. Yeah. I wanted to talk to you. I went there on Friday yeah. to talk to you. But well, I guess you were busy. You weren't uh, able to come down. And I wanted to ask you a couple questions about this car. Which car? This one. This one? Yeah. Like what? Uh, it is, this is, uh, of course, it's a city vehicle, right? Yeah. But how long have you been driving this car? I've been working since July. Since July is this year? Uh, last year? Yeah. 23? Yeah. And have you inspected this car? I don't do anything. That's done by the city garage up on Cedar Street. Because, you know, this car has an expired emission and it registered. Uh, well, then I'll pick it up and I'll talk to Mr. Vito today. Oh, Vito is in charge of this? Yes. Frank Vito, right? Yeah. All right. Tell him Mario Castro asked you questions about okay. why all right this vehicle is being uh i mean i know it's not your fault but like uh you city employee yeah as a city employee uh you should be supposed to be held accountable for well all right everything up, everything that happened i'll go up and see frank about it where's i don't know if you would be inspected yeah i mean if you notice yeah, i mean because if you get pulled over by the police with a yeah. with expired emission all and right, inspection I'll, uh, I'll go up all right, my man. Thank you. I didn't even realize. That. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta inspect because okay. you, you should get a ticket the way, same way the citizens get tickets, you know, for that. Yeah, guys. Uh, and I'm not. I, I don't mean to be nosy, but I mean I'm just holding uh, our public employees accountable because if we do that, if we drive a vehicle without emission and inspection expire, we're gonna get pulled over by the police and this gentleman here said that Frank Vito is in charge of uh, taking care of the these vehicles so I want to know and I want to know if, if this is going to be the case this is going to be taken care of because I did went to the police department the other day to mention something about one of the uh, police cars one of the patrol cars being with a without a, a license plate light and they didn't do anything about it i caught him the other night driving at night uh without that license plate light uh being fixed and i i spoke with joe babula sergeant joe babula about it and he assured me that he was going to fix uh that light on that vehicle that he was going to take it out of the road but as you can see in my videos if you go to not the end of freedom you will see the video where i confronted the officers about that light not being fixed uh, i'm gonna leave it uh, for you guys here but i'm gonna be uh following this situation with this car well i guess i guess he is gonna take it to uh i guess he's gonna take it to the shop to be fixed uh, we see him pulling up to the uh, uh, city of Hazelton Department of Public Works and hopefully they will take care of that inspection and emission because I don't want to see that car driving with an expired uh, emission and inspection sticker of any, any of the uh, uh, public vehicles, uh, city uh, vehicles. I don't want to see them being driven uh, with any type of uh, violations on the, on the uh... see, I came up. yeah, yep. Yeah. Like I said, I was going to follow to see no, if... Right, right. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. So... I guess he's taking care of the um, 
right paperwork so we're gonna be here and hopefully this vehicle will be uh, maintained accordingly is I only say accordingly because uh, God only knows what's wrong with these vehicles and we are holding these public officials accountable because if like I said before if we get caught driving any vehicle without a emission and inspection sticker we are gonna get pulled over and tickets will be given to us and they were gonna take they're gonna take a lot of money and that's not gonna be fair for us and to be ticketed but not the public officials We are here in Hazelton, Pennsylvania, and this is the uh, this is where they keep all the good stuff, city stuff, city maintenance uh, vehicles, uh, cleaning. So this is city street, guys. If you got, if you ever guys wonder where our city vehicles are there are right here on this corner of shaft and cedar shaft and cedar yeah that's where they go it's tree sweeping machine we're gonna be checking every vehicle that is owned by the city of hazelton and we know we're going to make sure that they are following the traffic rules as every citizen in hazelton is i forgot to check the uh parking meter lady lady and i want to make sure that she is also uh in order to drive with that vehicle because she's happy giving ticket to people but I don't see anybody giving ticket to her for driving around wasting time there is more city employees arriving to their warehouse or their uh, place of uh, storage Yes, buddy, you are in video. Well, the parking leader, uh, meter lady came through the other side. We see how Joe is going to do. Hopefully... He'll get that registration and inspection vehicle taken care. It looks like he's going to take care of the problem. I guess they told him not to drive away with our vehicle for today because he's hopping into the other car. But I'm glad to see that vehicle being parked because if, if it's not uh, inspected and, and if his emissions are not uh, up to date, he has no right to drive that vehicle with that expired and this one is 
724. Yeah, smile. Smile all you want. Hear, hear that noise on that vehicle? We're gonna have to check it out. See why that why is that noise on that vehicle? All right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, you'll be seeing that vehicle in my next videos uh, to see if they are uh, being fixed. <laughs> oh, my God. Unbelievable. Unbelievable that a regular citizen has to bring problems to the city for maintenance on their vehicles. Isn't that funny? Unreal. Thank you guys for watching.